even with a number of release dates remaining unconfirmed, the coming years are looking pretty good for the racing genre. Whether you're a fan of arcade racers or a simulation, there's something for everyone to look forward to. Let's take a look at 15 new racing games releasing in 2022 and beyond. Grid Legends while the Grid reboot didn't exactly reignite interest in the franchise, Codemasters Grid Legends is looking a lot better. It features a new story mode called Driven to Glory, with a professional cast and protagonist Nathan McCain finally being voiced. There's also over 130 tracks and more than 100 vehicles from electric cars to trucks competing in numerous events, though players can also create custom races that throw every vehicle type together. Grid Legends is out on February 23rd for the PlayStation 4, Xbox One, PS5, PC, and Xbox Series X and S. Gran Turismo 7 after the more competitive racing of Gran Turismo Sport, Gran Turismo 7 marks a celebration of everything that made the series great. GT Simulator Mode returns alongside with Driving School, Special Events, GT Auto, and much more, while Brand Central and GT Sport Mode carry over from its predecessor. Over 90 tracks are reportedly included, which includes Daytona International Speedway and more than 420 cars with extensive customization, a sense of realism that's tangible and 4K 60 frames per second gameplay. It's out on March 4th for the PlayStation 4 and PS5. Test Drive Unlimited Solar Crown Test Drive Unlimited Solar Crown marks the first true sequel in the franchise Test Drive Unlimited 2 from 2011, this time taking place on Hong Kong Island. As an open world racer, players will partake in the classic Open Championship, work their way towards driving exotic brands like Lamborghini, Porsche, and Apollo, and much more. Quite a lot is still unknown, like the luxury motif and high stakes, but it's out in September 2022 for Xbox Series X and S to Xbox One, PS4, PS5, PC, and Nintendo Switch. Redout 2. 3 4 Big Things kind of crashed and burned with Redout Space Assault, but it's going back to its high speed racing routes with Redout 2. With 36 tracks, a career mode spanning hundreds of events like arena races, last man standing and boss races, and customization with 12 different chassis types to choose from, the sequel looks to build significantly off of the original. There's also support for 12 player online multiplayer, custom content, and seasons. Redout 2 will be coming to the Xbox Series X and S, PS4, PS5, PC, Nintendo Switch, and Xbox One this year. Untitled Need for Speed Game Battlefield 2042 may have been a bust despite Criterion's help, but on the bright side, its Need for Speed title is out this year. Very little is known, save for the fact that it's confirmed for Xbox Series X and S and PS5. PS4 and Xbox One is a completely different story, though. EA has said that it's bringing some astounding visual leaps, but will it compete with the likes of Gran Turismo 7? Yeah, we'll have to wait and see. F1 2022 Last year's entry saw a fairly big shift for Codemasters Formula One racing franchise, due in no small part to its acquisition by Electronic Arts. It's a given that we'll see another entry this summer, but how will it change up in the campaign? Will Codemasters try for another Breaking Point style story mode, streamline other aspects like it did for R&D? Time will tell, but it's Formula One and is thus worth keeping an eye out for. Monster Energy Supercross, the official video game, 5. What would a new year be without another Supercross game from Milestone? Monster Energy Supercross, the official video game 5, is out on March 17th and features a number of categories to race in, from the Rookie 250SX class to the Pro 450SX class. 
There's also the new Compound, which offers five new tracks, the recurring track editor for creating and sharing tracks with the community, and preparation levels to assess a racer's condition. Dakar Desert Rally. A rally racing game from Saber Interactive sounds unexpected, but Dakar Desert Rally is shaping up well for Xbox One, Xbox Series X and S, PC, PS4, and PS5. Based on the titular worldwide rally race, Dakar Desert Rally features cars, quad bikes, SSVs, motorcycles, and much more. There are 30 stages from the 2020 and 2021 official Dakar Rally races, a large open world to explore, and dynamic weather with conditions ranging from sandstorms to snow. Another interesting mechanic is being able to tow a competitor and receive some repair points along with potential assistance down the line. WRC 11 Kyloton has been seeing fairly consistent success with the World Championship Rally or WRC series in the past few years with WRC 10 garnering the most critical acclaim yet. It stands to reason that WRC 11 will release in September 2022. Even if it hasn't been officially announced, here's hoping for both modern and historical rally cars to be featured again along with some new locations. Assetto Corsa 2 Among the many racing games that we have little to no information about is Assetto Corsa 2. Revealed during Digital Bros fiscal year 2020 and 21 Q3 corporate report, it confirmed that a second version was in development and expected to release in 2024. Considering the first game's reception, it's worth looking forward to, but right now, we'll need to wait for more information. Nano Racing Nano Racing features miniatures racing around in a super realistic home, from the living room to the poolside area with ramps, loops, and much more. Developed on Unreal Engine 5, it's slated to release on Xbox Series X and S, PS5, and PC this year, and features both single player and online content. MX vs ATV Legends the long-running MX vs. ATX series is making a comeback with MX vs. ATV Legends, which is in development for PC, PS4, PS5, Xbox Series X and S, and Xbox One, though a release date hasn't been announced. Along with large open environments, it will feature a career mode with different events, sponsors, and paths, along with the new Trails mode, which promises quote, with new surprises around every turn. Players can customize their rider and vehicles and partake in either two-player split-screen or 16-player online races. Forza Motorsport The announcement of a new Forza title is always exciting, so the lack of information on Turn 10 Studios' next racing sim is a little bit odd. Nevertheless, the in-engine gameplay reveal looked impressive with its ray tracing and details and the promise of 4K 60 frames per second gameplay on Xbox Series X is always alluring. Perhaps 2022 will be the year that Forza Motorsport asserts its dominance and reinvents itself. Car X Street Developed by CarX Technologies, CarX Street was originally slated to launch last November, but was delayed to September 8th, 2022 on PC. Despite the lack of details, the first look trailer showcases some fairly decent visuals and racing with five different clubs to join. You can also apparently purchase real estate. With lots of cars and extensive customization, it should be interesting to see how it turns out, especially given how well Car X Drift Racing Online was received. Extreme Aces Racing Of the many racing games on this list, very few offer racing without cars. Extreme Aces Racing, which released for PC this month, is one such game and sees players flying competitively in jets. There are nine levels and a variety of jets to choose from, with story and arcade modes to play through. Multiplayer support is also provided with split-screen support. Though not the most feature-packed racing game, it still offers something uniquely different from the pack. And with that, we've reached the end of this video. Have anything to say? 
let us know in the comments below. Also, we upload new videos every day on Gaming Bolt, so please consider subscribing as it really helps us out. Thanks for watching.